using the same digital images this time. Hey, it's Care. Welcome to my take at the lake. So it is the winter edition digital version of the open collaboration between myself and Amy at Doki Doki Forest. We are calling hashtag using the same images whereby we harvest magazines together via Zoom or YouTube Live or however we can do it. We decide together which images we're going to use and then we go our separate ways and we get to gluing and then we come back and make a video and share what we've done with the same images. And it's fascinating and fun to see how very differently we do things, how very differently our process works. She does a lot of gluing and crafting on camera. I just don't. She cuts up her images a lot. I don't. <laughs> I cut up a lot of words. Fascinating, I think, to see how very different not only our, our end results are, but our processes are. And we have now done, we're calling it our Seasons Glue Book. We started in the fall. We just recently did winter edition of January's Birds in Bloom. But we created digital images for two reasons. Number one, we could only find one wintry magazine. Number two, we thought it'd be fun to have a digital option in case people want to play along and couldn't get this issue of this magazine. So Amy made a digital version of images and I made a digital version of images. We both have them free on our Patreon. You don't have to join or pay or anything. You just have to click the link and hit print. Download and print. Easy peasy. Could not be easier. And that way, and so we glued all of our Birds and Blooms images at the same time. We did, we also did a Christmas one on our own because it's seasons. And now it is time. Oh, and we did a Crafter's Choice Valentine's Day. And that kind of separates for us uh, the magazine spreads, digital spreads. In the previous video, I mentioned that there were, I had a whole bunch of ideas for the digital kit, different, different ways that I could go about this um, as I was cutting them out and, and trimming them up and organizing them. I thought, well, I could do them just random, have a pile of large, a pile of medium, a pile of small, and a pile of words and little tiny things, fussy cuts, etc and just pick one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and just see how things end up. Of course, that's way too random for my brain. I thought, well, I could go by colors, just put all the blues together and all the greens together, or collect things by group, critters, windows, outdoors, quotes, put it all together that way. I ended up not using any of these ideas but i'm giving them to you because maybe they'll work for you what i ended up doing was by feel what felt like it went together mostly by temperature this is cool 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 with a little bit of warm and a little bit of warm and a little bit of warm in each and that's how i organized this batch of images and so I separate them all out before I start gluing. All the ones that felt about the same to me, felt about the same temperature, theme, and for lack of a better word, feel. They just felt like they went together. And that's how I did it, all of them this time. So up close and personal, obviously it's a two page spread. And of course, it's easiest to work largest images first, put those down first, and then your medium images, glue those down or place those, and then your smaller ones, and then your words. Because you don't want any of your tiny stuff to get buried. Just a collection of gorgeous, gorgeous images this time around. So fun. for people who want to play along. The images are there for the taking, whether you put them in a, 
in a glue book or not. They're beautiful, beautiful winter images. So this page you can see is a tiny bit warmer than the other page. More indoorsy, more fiery colors, more cozy by the hearth of the house colors. Um, there are a few outdoor scenes, of course, that are pretty cool, but he's a nice warm color. The sunshine here is nice and warm. He's just beautiful. Some wonderful outdoor scenes. The sun is shining. You know, just because it's winter doesn't mean it has to always be cold. And this, even though it's a nighttime scene and it's winter, it's very warm and inviting with these warm lights glowing from inside and the beautiful moon and very different colors for winter. Of course, cocoa warms the cockles of your heart. This is a cocoa bar. Marshmallows large and small, candy canes, chocolate kisses, red and green different kind, um, pieces of chocolate, caramel you can add, cookies that go along with. I think those are tiny itty bitty marshmallow bits. Mini marshmallows, regular marshmallows, non-pareils, just all kinds of things. What a fun idea. I love this guy. A little perfect little snowflake on his nose. He's so cute. And then later we cozy up by the fire. A lot of cozy by the fire. I love a fireplace so much. And there's no place like home. This one, very cool, uh, dark, wintry, different than, than this. This to me is like morning light, sunrise, the day is just getting started. Cool, but bright. Where here is felt very dark to me, except for these two, but they do have these dark, dark bits in them. And this window is absolutely gorgeous, but it just seems a little sinister to me. It just feels dark, like a dark fairy tale or a, a, a dark wizard lives there or something. And of course he, he's gorgeous. But in going with this theme up to no good, <laughs> just reminded me of all the Disney villains, you know, up to no good. I just love these pastel colors for winter and a beautiful quote. And now we welcome the new year full of things that have never been. That's wonderful. Not very dark, but he almost reminds me of the Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. That had a bit of a dark side, right? beautiful but very dark we get into the galaxy and the the unknown and I, I you'll notice I used all of my trim and my scraps as page edging pieces to go in the back just to kind of tie everything together having that unifying sparkly blue dark that, that ties it all together so it feels like a cohesive whole. Now there are some warm bits in here too, but nowhere near as warm as this. This is dark and cool with a little bit of warmth just so we don't freeze out. And then we have these wonderful bunnies in the snow. The snuggle is real and a warm light to find your way home after a dark, cold winter's night by the light of a full moon. And if it's a full moon, that means it's clear skies and clear skies means it's cold, cold, cold. And my last one, obviously I didn't have a whole lot. I had too many pictures for one page and quite enough for two pages, but I would prefer having it spread out than crammed in. So this is just fun in the snow. This is romping in the daylight. Uh, we're going to start with maybe a winter picnic. I, I'm big into winter picnics and bonfires. Do a little snoga. 
let it snow. It's a winter wonderland. It's time. It's time for winter to enjoy and play and romp and build snowmen. The plants and the earth are resting. Maybe we should too. The long days will be here soon enough. You know, it's okay to hiber hibernate in and chill for a little bit and find a cozy blanket and grab some hot cocoa and watch a good movie and just be okay with doing nothing for a few minutes. More snowman fun. Love at frost sight. Look how cute. Such cuties. I only have ice for you. And then at the end of a fun winter's day, you go home, light up a fire, and just dream about what a wonderful day you had outside. See there again, I didn't, I didn't expect or intend to tell stories about each of my spreads, watching too many Doki Doki Forest videos because stories are her thing. Stories are my thing too, but not usually in my glue books. <laughs> But that's okay. That's how it all, you know, it's very organic and it happens as it happens. It is not too late. Just because we've done ours doesn't mean you can't do yours. The uh, free images are available on our Patreon. You simply click the link. It'll take you right to the place to get the goodies and you open it up. At the bottom, there's a PDF. You open up the PDF and download it or print it right from the internet. You have to print the item, not the web page. That's a little technical. But if you click on the PDF and open up the PDF, you should be able to print right from there if you don't want to download it. But go ahead and take advantage of these gorgeous images that we have curated for you from the internet to play with in your glue book or your winter journals or document some, some winter days in your just in your daily journal or your planner, our gift, our wintry gift to you. If you do make a video or you do do something like this and you record it, uh, you can take pictures of it and share them with us on Patreon. You can take a video of it and tag us in so we know to look for it because we'd love to see what you've done with the images that we've been playing with all this time. So next up, spring coming soon. Until then, go love up your Beastlies. Have some fun in the snow with them. Bundle them up, because if it's cold for you, it's cold for them too. And then go in and snuggle by the fire and enjoy a peaceful night's rest. Until we meet again, Mate at the Lake, out for now.